Косал Барашка, Джая Ким, Корея. Таблуйте их олимпиада в рейтинге для номера Жирмабес. Here we go. Gana Savoka, the second semi final. They are not holding back at all here. In fact, they're all going quite crazy. Um, the referees uh, already called them out. And here we go for the second semi final. Um, no messing around. It seems if, um, they're almost like if it's a, someone's got a bus to catch here. And uh, now they're going to just check the. Uh, the vest. Uh, you know, Mark, tell us what's going on here. With each of the PSS, that they, they have to be scored. Right, sorry about that. Yeah, to the, with the PSS scoring system, it has to be registered so the points is, um, are the register on kicks are sent directly to the computer so that you can see it instantaneously. So um, here we're just doing a, a PSS check protective scoring system check to make sure that it's registered. It is, it's fine. Chris, can you come over here? Here we go, second semi-final. And uh, we absolutely raced through there. I don't know if these guys are in a rush or if they're paid for their time or whatever, but it's the uh, second semi-final and uh, Gana Soroka, world ranked 32. 32 up against Kim Jae, world rank number 25. Early stages of this one. Um, the big result here for uh, Gana Soroka in their past results, which uh, I don't think we managed to get on the screen, they were going so quickly. Beat Yasmina Aziaz, the world rank number five, in the quarter final. Uh, sorry, in the quarter final, yes. Uh, so a fantastic result there for Gana Soroka. And. Uh, well, based on that alone, you know, say she's a girl on form here from the Ukraine. I wouldn't underestimate the uh, potential for the Korean to get this match. Um, there's yeah. a lot of Korean athletes, very, very high standard, and just because that she's not world ranking, it might, she might have. Uh, it, with Koreans, the biggest challenge is selection in the first place, actually getting into the Korean national team. Yeah. yeah. So the opportunity to score the points might not have been there presented as much. So the Korean girl. Um, although ranked lower, sorry, only ranked um, slightly higher, yeah. um, I think he's the favourite here. Yeah, you don't get many bad Koreans, do you? That's not, sure. Not really. <laughs> not at international <laughs> level, yeah, no. if, they, if they've reached this far. So she may be ranked in the 30s, but she's going up for sure. Uh, well, Sor uh, Soroka's currently leading, 1-0. Just coming towards the end of the first period. And um, just as we saw in semi-final number one, it's 1-0 one to Blue. And um, another one of those little tactical affairs, isn't it? Like, uh, you know, the thing is, you see these players sometimes in earlier rounds and they really launch in and get stuck in and they, they, win, a, they win a match 15-11. And we were talking a little bit earlier about that as a coach, you know, that there's a little bit of a situation here, isn't there, that, you know, they basically... Uh, you know, this is a big final, a big semi-final, a big final. There's a lot of points for Rio 2016 up for grabs. And so they can get a little bit nervous and, and, and tense. I, I wouldn't say so much nervous, it's more cautious. It's very, very cautious. If you make a mistake against a serious player, they're going to penalise you for it. They're going to punish you for that. So you're less likely to um, throw risky kicks so that you're not risking um, yeah. being been countered. Well, we've got a crane here giving us lots of shots from above and unusual angles. I don't think I've seen that before in Taekwondo. It's a bit of an innovation here from uh, Kazakh, Kazakh Sport. Well, we did use it in 2012, not quite as um, artistically as this team, is it? Yes, uh, this crane's getting right onto the court, actually, at times. I've, I've been wondering... Uh, I, I've, I've seen a few incidents in the past. I don't want to tempt Providence here, but I've seen a few incidents in other sports where athletes have actually hit the crane. A good, a good attempt to kick there from Kim Jae, but nothing came of that. Still 1-0 to Blue. And the crowd booting up very nicely here in Astana. Uh, they've come to have a good night out. I think uh, so far the girls are 
Nifin Brown, that first semi-final, of really providing it. And we've got the heavyweights to come, which are always uh, always a good start to a competition as well, aren't they? See the heavyweights? Oh, yes, very contrasting game. It's a completely different game. It's different movement, range, speed, power. Um, you find the 49 athletes are very tactical. They're leading off the left leg, off the lead leg, using yeah. the left leg. Oh, that was so close to a head kick there on blue. The Ukrainian, because she's got the height disadvantage, has got to get inside that range. And obviously, sometimes moving in, she's going to put herself at danger. Yeah, yeah although uh, Blue's leading 1-0, you feel that Red's sort of in the driving seat, don't you, tactically? It, it, she's sort of dominating the rallies at the moment. Yeah, the Korean's not actually going up for the headshots as yet, which I would have expected to do with the height ad advantage that she has. Srikova working way in there. Covering nicely when the Croatian, uh, sorry, when the Korean um, counter kicks. Yep. 30 seconds to go. Still that single body shot from earlier on. She'll be happy to just hold on there. She will, but obviously, like exactly like the same the first match, it's not going to guarantee any um, safety or security there. Yeah. Well, Zaninovic will be uh, in the changing room, possibly watching this on one of the many screens that are around the arena here. I'm sure she will be. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, she'll be probably looking just to pick up something on her opponent, maybe a little bit of a weakness coming into the last 10 seconds. I think she'll be quite pleased with this, to be honest. I think she's, um, she knows tactically she's stronger than these girls. Yeah. And there we go. So, one point to nil after two periods. And um, I, think, uh, I think we can safely predict there's going to be a fair few more scores in the third period as both athletes start to uh, really let it go and uh, you know this Korean uh, player just looking at her here from the side uh, off camera she looks as she's got plenty of energy to give I'm sure she's not going to hold up in that third period no I, I think towards the end of the uh, last round that we'll see her actually taking the headshots combination kicks as well right now she seems to be holding back yeah the Ukrainian guild really scored with a, a very good back kick counter back kick which is worth two points so um, the Korean will be aware of that, be more cautious that she doesn't get countered, but it, it's anybody's match at this stage. Yeah. No, oh, nice bit of rock music, getting everybody uh, in the mood in the crowd here. Well, uh, it really has uh, been a great day of uh, competition. We've seen some brilliant bouts so far. It really has been uh, quite special. And here we go for the third headshot. Headshot, three oh. points, first kick. Well, we did say she'd got energy to burn. She came out straight away. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like it when things go right. They're working to the script today. Yeah. And again, goes up for the oh, headshot, scores it. And another one. Oh, she's like a kid in a sweet shop here. Oh, she's just take it, taking her candy as it comes. She's There's got that fun. counter back kick from Ukraine, like we said there. So it's we're going according to you know yeah. how we spotted it, really. So I'm quite pleased about that. <laughs> It's not often the commentators get it absolutely spot on, but this is one where we've done our job. A 6-1 to China. Now the onus is on the other girl. Now it's the Soroka who's got to do something. And the thing is, she doesn't, you know, look at that shot. There's quite a high yeah. difference, isn't there? It's not just that. The Korean is now confident that she can take the headshots as well. So Zurikova's really got the counter back kick, but she's got, to, she's got to go in there and attack. And the counter kick's no good when you need to. There she goes for it. Doesn't yeah. score it, but it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, she's got, got to get stuck in now. No holding back. Less than a minute to go. Gana Soroka of the Ukraine. 50 seconds and Korea will be happy just to play this one out. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice lead. That's quite incredible. It just, just shows how Taekwondo, you can just get such a change from one minute to the next. Two headshots within the space of 10 seconds there, wasn't it? And well, it was this, the actual game's been as developed. Take on as a sport that's always moving forward. So um, going back to the um, late 90s, it was one point for a kick, punch, kick to the head or anything. And then the game started to develop. We realised that better techniques needed to be rewarded more. And so um, steadily they've increased it to the, to the stage where it is now, where the spinning kick to the head scores four points and the head kicks three points. So it's rewarding strong, uh, well, braver techniques, really, and better, more exciting play. Yeah. Well, this one looks as if it's in the bag for Kim Jae. It's four seconds to go. She's just going to defend it away. And, uh, well, Gana Soroka possibly has uh, learnt a little lesson there. She possibly... Uh, didn't expect that the Korean was really going to come out so much. And she's won that comfortably. 
by yeah. six points Ready, to one. Yeah. I'd be interested to see if she plays slightly different when she goes in against Alinovic, whether she takes those headshots a little bit sooner. Yeah. Well, the athletes uh, exit stage here.